Hi. Uh, the movie menu reminded me way back in the time, and so I wanna, I wanna go ahead and, and make this because it brought back memories. Okay, so uh, eighty percent hamburger. Now you gotta remember now, this is a time when there was no such thing as fast food hamburger. In other words, these were all individual, small little places making their own version of it. But they all followed basically the same thing, which was you take, you take basic ground beef, nothing fancy, nothing special, okay? And, and I cut a quarter, I, I cut a, a one pound block into quarters, so this is a quarter, this is a quarter pound. Okay, 80, 20. Now, there was no uh, 80, 20%. Nobody did that. You know, you just took a, a chuck and you ground it up or or top round and just ground it up. And, and if you did add fat to it or a fat piece, it was all depending on what you had. So, as, as they did in a the movie, they just took it, made a round ball, and this is key. No machine patties or anything. Well, it'd be nice if I had a steel spatula. But this is all they did. Oh. And, and it was on a hot grill, which is kind of burning. <laughs> so let me push this out as much as I can. So, this is where they get that crumbly shape because they just squished it down, okay? It wasn't designed that way, it's just, just the way you made it, okay? So you squished it down. And on modern hamburgers, I, I used to work in a meat company and they use a machine that makes it into these round patties that's already squished. You don't want that. This is the way they used to do it. Now, as far as the roll of, at the store, these are called French bread rolls, but it's a sesame seed bun. And these are soft, okay? So a sesame seed bun, and you cut it. Oh, I gotta use a bread knife. You cut it so you could still see little bits of sesame seed on the bottom portion. So the bottom of the roll wasn't this thin piece of bread. It was actually a equivalent to the top portion. So like that. So like that. Okay, so it's about equal, okay? But you did if if nowadays they cut it so thin that the bottom part falls apart. Okay, so we got this. And then a few slivers of, I'm using sweet onion. Um, I imagine Vidalia's or that sweet onions was available at that time. Uh, I'm not sure. It was kind of expensive even back in the 50s. So, so all you did was you flipped it over and that's it. Man. You know. And then some places would add, some places would add salt and pepper, just like you normally would, nothing fancy. Okay, so we'll take a little round salt and pepper here. So. Pepper, the pepper, ground pepper, ground salt. I'm using sea salt, but salt will do. Uh, sea salt wasn't a big deal back in the days. It was just salt was salt, you know, just salt. Okay. Now one catch, they I I noticed that they got correctly in the movie is in the day 
They didn't have cheese slices separated by plastic. It came like this. It came bulk and a big bulk log, and you had to separate it, okay? And the way they did that, they offset the cheese off to one side so you could grab it, okay? And in this case, he put, and, and these cheese slices are thicker than your normal plastic wrap one. And he put two cheese slices on each patty. Okay. And even though these are quarter pounders, you can see that they're a lot smaller than what you saw in the movie. But anyway, it's still, that's half a pound of meat. Okay, so no matter how you look at it, that's half a pound of meat. Okay, so they put on two slices each. Okay, and let it melt after they turned it. Okay, so we got our Kaiser roll ready. And in actuality, I think he put the onions in the middle. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to grill the onions a little bit. He didn't put a whole lot. I like a lot, but he didn't put a whole lot. So he just put a few slivers like that, okay? Okay, so I think he just gently grilled them so that they just, just started to turn clear. So we got hammer and patties in here. Okay, we're almost done. Okay, now in the movie they didn't show the condiments. And I think they didn't really want to show the condiments because everybody likes their hamburger a certain way. Uh, my son likes it with just ketchup and mayo. mayo. But in my preference is in my high school time, the 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 hamburgers came with uh, mayo and relish, so it's a lot different. Okay, so we're 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 done. Oh, let me get a plate. Okay, so I'm gonna let my son put on his own mail and ketchup. But in the movie, they just took the two patties. Okay, like that. Uh, they don't show him putting the onions. I think he put the onions under the cheese. But anyway. As long as they're in there. <laughs> yeah, he put about that much, okay? And then he threw on another another patty on top. So it's a double, technically it's a double cheeseburger, okay? And we'll turn this off, okay? And then then he put the, the bun right on top. Sesame seed, and you could see sesame seeds on the bottom and the top. So that's why I cut it thicker, so it'd be like that. And then, of course, now if you notice the crinkle cut fries, they weren't burnt. They were all nicely browned. Um, there's actually a trick to it, uh, but I'll show that in another video. Okay, so uh, double cheeseburger, little bit of onions on a sesame seed roll, crinkle cut fries.